What's going on guys? Hardware Junkies here today showing you the updated version on how to jailbreak your Fire TV stick or Fire TV box. Um, the brand new Fire TV box was just released so that's going to have a little bit more power than the stick will have so if you run Kodi on the new box it'll actually run a little faster you might have a little less buffering however the stick just works still works just as good so it's really just a personal preference if you want to spend that extra couple bucks for a more powerful system or if you just want to save some money and go with the moderately powerful system. Um, both will work the same, just up to you guys. So to start, you're going to want to go down here and go over to device. Click on device and then go down to developer options. Here you can click on ADB debugging. Turn that on and apps from unknown sources, you want to turn that one on as well. Then we can go back to the home screen. You're going to want to go up to the search bar and we're going to search for downloader. So we'll type that in. And down here you can see downloader app popped up. So we're going to click right on there and then you can see the orange app called downloader. So you want to click on that and then you guys are going to hit um, right where it says download, highlight that and click it. And as you can see, that's queued and it's now downloading. And there we go, it is now ready to launch. So we can hit the play button to open it up. And we're going to click allow to allow it to access. And you can just click on OK right there. Now the URL of the website we're going to want to put in. Um, I'm going to put in the current one on here. You guys might have to change it depending on if the code is different. So you're going to want to look down in the description for the most recent updated code. Because um, there's updates for Kodi that come out and everything. So if there's a newer code, it's going to be down in the description. You're going to want to look down there. And that's where the most recent one will be. So I'll be right back after I type this in. Alright, so as of right now, the code is bit.ly forward slash Cody dash 175. Um, 175 just standing for 17.5, which is the current version of Cody. If that'll always work, if there's a newer version, it might be 17, 176 or whatever the newest version is, it's usually going to be right there. But just check the description again, and that'll give you the latest one to put in. So then we can hit go. And it's going to connect, and as you can see, it's downloading. So that's going to go ahead and download. And then once it finishes downloading, um, it might say install, which you might have to click. Um, but for me, this screen popped right up, which also says install. But there might be a screen before that that you might have to click something on. Um, so then you're just going to want to go down to install. And that's going to go ahead and install Kodi on the system. And there we go, it's now installed, so we can go over to open. And there's Kodi 17.5, loading itself in. And there we go, now we're in Kodi. So now here is when we're going to um, put the build that we want on. Um, you can use any build you want. This is the one that I recommend to use because it works great for me for the past couple months. Haven't had any issues with it. So you're going to go down to File Manager, and then go Add Source, and then down in the description I'll have the link for the source you're going to put in, so just base it off that. So as of the making of this video, that's the link you're going to want to put in. Again, just check the description to make sure it's updated, and then you can click OK. And then you can name that whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as Repo, and we can hit OK again. Now we're going to want to go back to the main screen of Kodi, and go down to where it says Add-ons. And then from add-ons, we're going to go to this little box at the top left corner there. You can see I have highlighted. Click on that. And then install from zip. And then go to settings. And then we're going to enable unknown sources. Hit yes. Don't really worry about that error message. It's just kind of a warning from Kodi because this isn't supported by Kodi, obviously. And then you're going to go down to repo or whatever you titled that source that we installed. Click on that and then go down to where it says plugin.video.dmit. 
and then click on that one. And what that's going to do is install the add-on, which we can go back and then go down to program add-ons. And once that installs, it's going to show up right there. And there we go. We can see it says Demetrology TV add-on installed in the top right corner. And there's the wizard right there. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to settings and click where it says code. And you're going to go down to the, the link in the description. It's going to take you to a website that's going to have a code. Um, I'll show you what that website looks like. And it's going to take you to a website that looks pretty much like this. It's demetrology.com forward slash get code at this point in time. Again, use the link in the description. And you're going to use that code that is showing us right there. And there we go. You can see that's the code at this point in time. It changes every hour, so you're going to have to go to the link. Don't use the code I'm putting in right now because it's not going to work since it'll be outdated by the time you're watching this video. So once you put that code in, you're going to click on OK. And then we're going to go to OK again. And we can go up to install slash update. And I'm going to have to get another code. One second. All right, guys, if that happens to you, you just got to go into the browser and refresh the page. Um, I guess since I pulled up the page, like before I started the video, it... Um, got a new code since then so we just put the new one in now we can go up to install and that was going through so we can go down to boom shakalaka you can do the xxx which will include the adult stuff or you can just go with cody this one's the full version um this one doesn't have the adult um content in it i usually just download the full version just to have everything and then you're going to click yes and we're going to do a full, um, you could do an overwrite, um, that'll just install on top of the current configuration. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're just going to want to do a full install. Um, if you do know what I'm talking about, then go ahead and do whatever you want to do. You probably know what you're doing with Cody already, so you wouldn't be watching this video. So that's going to go ahead and download, and then once that's done we can finish up. And there we go. Once it's done, it'll pop up a thing that says process complete. So we can hit OK now. And then you're going to want to go to the home screen and we got to restart Cody. We got to force restart it. So you're going to go to settings, go down to applications, and then go to manage installed applications and then go down to find Cody click that and then click on force stop and then click launch application what that's going to do is force stop Cody so that it can reset all its settings to the new ones that we just installed and then once that's done you can see that Demetrology is on and you can play around with the menus. You got TV shows, movies, live TV, um, all sorts of stuff here. It's gonna, when you first launch it, need um, probably a couple minutes just to load everything in since you haven't run it before. It's always a good idea to give it like a minute, a couple, 30 seconds to a minute when you first launch Cody. Just let it catch up on everything, do its maintenance and whatnot, um, just so it's not super laggy when you're trying to get stuff open. If it does freeze up when you're trying to find a movie or something, that probably means it wasn't ready yet, so just let it sit for a little bit and then it'll be ready to go. Um, so that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can comment them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's about it, so um, see you next time.